This is Nick with Logos by Nick.com, and in this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this infographic design using Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, if you'd like to brush up on your logo design skills, be sure to check out my Logo Design Academy. It's an 18-part video series where I outline my entire creative process for coming up with logo ideas from start to finish. I'll have a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So to get us started here in Illustrator, I've just opened up a new canvas size to 1280 by 1280. To set up the page, we'll come up here to where it says View. Make sure you have Smart Guides and Snap to Point. Make sure you have both of those enabled and nothing else in here. And then from Window, we're going to want Control, Color, Gradient, and Stroke. And that's these menus over here. We will need these for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and close out of this. The first thing I want to do is create a circle in the center of the page here. So I'm going to click and hold on the rectangle tool till we get the flyout menu and I'm going to choose ellipse tool. And I'm going to come over to the center of the page and click and drag and then hold shift and alt to create a perfectly round circle like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this red for now. I'm going to bring the opacity down roughly in half. And then I'm going to get rid of that black outline, otherwise known as the stroke, by clicking on this black color right here and turning that off with the red slash right there. And what I will do now is I'm going to go to Edit, Copy, and then go to Edit, Paste in Place. And that's going to paste another copy of it right on top of it. And I'm going to make this other copy blue just to differentiate it. And now I'm going to grab the Select tool, and I'm going to grab this node right here and hold Shift and Alt and just click and drag this out so that it's slightly larger than the other circle. And what I want to do now is just lower this beneath the red circle. So I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and press the left bracket key, and that's going to lower it beneath it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slice this larger blue circle in half. So let me zoom in on this. I'm going to hold Alt and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times. I'm going to grab the uh, Direct Selection tool right here. I'm going to click and drag over this node. Hold Shift, click and drag over this node, or anchor point rather. And up here with those both selected, click on this button that says Cut Path at Selected Anchor Points. And that's going to slice the object in half. Now let me grab the Select tool, click off of the graphic to deselect everything, and take this bottom half and just press Delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. So what we want to do now is close in this, the top half of this circle right here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to grab the Pen tool, which is over here, or you can press P on the keyboard. And I'm going to snap to this point and then snap to this point. And that's just going to close the path there like that. So what we want to do now is let's go back to the Select tool. Let's take both of these objects and move these off to the left over here. I'm going to duplicate this by clicking and dragging and then holding Shift and Alt to lock it onto the horizontal axis and bring this copy over here. And what I'll do now is I'm going to bring the cursor just outside of the bounding box until we get our little rotation cursor. And with that, I'm just going to rotate that around and I'm going to hold Shift to lock it like that so that we end up with a mirrored version of that right there. And what I want to do now is snap this into here. In order to do that, I'm going to hold Control on the keyboard and I'm going to grab this node right here. And I'm going to click and drag and snap it onto this node right here, just like that. And what I will do now is I will take all of this right here and do the same thing. Hold click and drag, then hold Shift and Alt to bring this over here and then just snap it on there just like that. And as you can see, the shape of the infographic is already taking place. So what we're going to do now is uh, separate some of these objects using the um, Shape Builder tool. So let's click and drag over all of this, bring this towards the center of the page. Let me just scale this down a little bit, holding Shift and Alt to scale that down so that it locks the proportions. And with everything selected, I'm going to grab the Shape Builder tool, which is over here, or you could press Shift and M on the keyboard. And what I want to do is I just want to click and draw a line going through the blue circles over here, going around the edges to unify those together like that so that it becomes one object. And then I want to do the same thing with each individual circle. I want to make each of those its own object. And what I could do now is grab the Select tool, click off of it to deselect everything. And let's just take this little worm shape right here and just make this a different color for now. I'll make that green. And I want to give this a rounded, I want to make the ends here rounded. So I'm going to grab the uh, Direct Selection tool. Let me zoom in on this. I'm going to take this little knot right here and just click and drag that in so we get a nice rounded cap right there. If you'd rather leave that a straight edge, you can go right ahead and leave it like that. I kind of like how it looks rounded, so I, I did it that way. And what we have to do now is let's grab the Select tool. Let's click and drag over everything. Let's bring the opacity of it all the way up. And let's start coloring this in. The first thing we want to do is give this circle right here a gradient. So I'm going to come over here to the Gradient menu, and I'm going to click this little gradient icon. 
and I want to lighten up this dark side right here. So let me double click over here. It shows you the two sides of the gradient, the white and the, and the black. I'm going to double click the black right here and I'm just going to lighten that up so it's just like a, a darker gray. Right about there is what we're looking for. And close out of that. What I want to do now is go to edit, copy, and then edit, paste in place. So we get another copy of it. I'm going to hold shift and alt and scale that down so it's a tiny bit smaller. And I want to take this, bring the cursor to the outside of the bounding box until you get your rotation icon or on the cursor like that. And just rotate that around like that so that it's opposite the other gradient. And I might actually make this just a little bit bigger like that. And that looks pretty good. So what I want to do is I want to just duplicate this over to these objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag over both of these objects and group them together by holding Control and pressing G on the keyboard. And then I'll click and drag this over here and then hold Shift and Alt. Snap this on top of the blue object like that. And what I want to do is get rid of the blue object. So I'm going to click and drag through both of those objects right there and then hold Shift and click on the top object to deselect it. And as you can see here, all we have selected is the blue circle. So I'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hold Shift and Alt, click and drag this over here. Hold Shift to deselect the top objects, delete the blue one beneath it. And then finally do the same thing over here. Click and drag, hold Shift and Alt, snap it on there like that. Click off of it to deselect and then click through both of those and deselect the top object by holding Shift and clicking on it and then press delete on the keyboard. So we now have those objects in place. All we have to do now is add a gradient to this green worm line right here. So let me click on that. I'm going to click on this to give it a gradient. Only I'm going to give this gradient some color. So let me double click this stop over here, the white side. And I'm going to come over here to this uh, little menu icon and I'm going to choose RGB. I'm going to make this blue, something like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe something else, a little lighter. That looks better. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to add a new stop to this gradient over here. And if you notice on the cursor, a little plus icon appears next to the cursor. That means that you can click to add a new color into that gradient. So let me double click on that. I'm going to make this one pink. You can make this whatever color you'd like. I'm just doing this for this tutorial. Add another, another color over here. I'll make this one an orangish yellow, something like that. And then finally, I'll take this last one and make this green. Let me change this to RGB. I'll make that something green like that. That looks pretty good. And you can change the spacing of these gradients by changing these sliders over here. And that's looking pretty good. So at this point, we're finished. All we have to do now is you can go ahead and add your text in here. If you want to use this as an infographic, you can add your text and your labels up here or down here. And uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating this simple infographic design using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.